Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have an Ulta haul for you. Well, kind of an Ulta haul. I have a couple items that is not from Ulta, but I'm throwing them in here anyway. Um, just because, well, I don't have any other place to put them. <laughs> and um, I haven't, I've been saving these things to haul for you guys. And anyway, so I'm putting them in here. And I'm going to do them first, and then I get to the stuff that you can get at Ulta. So how's that sound? Anyway, so first thing I'm going to do is a PR item that was sent to me through Autily, and I'm going to talk about it first. And it's actually an item that you can get at Sephora, but I don't have any other items from Sephora. <laughs> uh, I don't shop too much at Sephora anymore. Um, I just, I just don't. Well, these, these, these thingies you might be able to get at Sephora. These Tarte foundations, possibly, but I got them at Ulta. So, well, and these, these lip glosses you could probably get at Sephora. Well, so yeah, maybe, but I didn't buy them at Sephora because I don't really shop at Sephora too much anymore. And speaking of Sephora, this is going to be the first year in probably eight or nine years that I will not be making Sephora VIB Rouge. Yeah, that's, that's kind of big. That's big. And not even, not even close to even making VIB Rouge. I don't even know if I'm even going to make VIB this year. That's, that's pretty big. Anyway, enough of that. So, from Ottilie, um, from this brand called Premier. Premier is a um, Korean skincare brand and I was needing a new overnight lip mask because my Laneige one that I bought, I swear I bought it five years ago and it's taken me that long to use up that pot of overnight lip mask. That stuff lasts forever and I like it but I didn't want to buy another one just because it's taken so daggone long to use it. And I didn't want to commit to another five years of using the same lip balm, lip mask, overnight lip mask. And I was going to buy this during that little surprise 20% off um, coupon that they sent out, Sephora did. But then I applied for this through Octoly and they, they said yes. So I got this one, but it's the Cream Berry Lip Mask. Anyway, and um, here's the, the jar of it and here's what it looks like. I've used it a couple of times and I like it so far. And um, I think it's going to last not as long as the Laneige one because it's not as big of as a pot as that one, but that's okay with me. And in it, it has, let me get my glasses. It has mura butter. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I had to Google it to look up what that was. But it's some, it's some kind of a palm plant that is um, native to the Amazonian rainforest in it. So it has that in there. That is for um, protecting the lips. And then it has, um, let me get over here to the English side. The key ingredient is sea berry extract. And then it has, that's for moisturization. Then it has rice bran wax in it. And that's a barrier. No, this, okay, let me start over. The sea berry, the sea berry extract is for nourishing. For moisturizing is the rice bran wax. And then for the barrier protecting is the, the murmur butter, which is the palm that is from Amazon. Amazonian rainforest, but it's the Primera Clean Berry Lip Mask. It's supposed to be smooth and shield. You can use it as an overnight lip mask, but it also says you can use it throughout the day. But I am primarily going to use it at night, so is where I'm going to use it. And this is made in Korea, and it's also from made from a more a more pacific uh, from a more pacific premiere so a more pacific makes the premiere brand let's try 
trying to see. Hmm. I should have done my my research on this. I should have done my homework on this. But I did not. But anyway, so far so good. I do like it. I still have a little bit of scrapes left in my Laneige before I really, really get gung-ho on using this. But anyway, so I have that. So that I got through Octoly and Premier that was sent to me for review purposes. And then from Amazon, I ordered this um, sunscreen for the face. And this is a Japanese sunscreen. And the only thing in here that's English is the Skin Aqua, the SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. And here's the package for me. I heard um, Penny talk about this and I forgot what her channel name is yeah I'm not very prepared for this video I, I found that I had a little bit of time to film this today and so I thought well I'm gonna sit down and do this but it's the skin aqua um, UV super moisture essence SPF 50 plus 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 sunscreen so anyway it looks like this here and it does take a, a long time to order this. So if you're going to get it and you get a tube of it and you start using it and you like it, say so you use it for a week and you like it, go ahead and order a tube then. So by the time you get done with this tube, then your tube that you just ordered will be here because it, it does take a while because it comes from Japan. But anyway, it looks like this here and does not leave a, light, a white cast. It's very absorbent into the skin. It is kind of like a moisturizing essence. It has a very slight fragrance to it, but not much. And I do like it. I have been using it as my sunscreen and I think it is very nice. I really think it's gonna be very nice going into the, um, the winter months. So yes, okay. First of all is a eyebrow pencil from e.l.f. This is the brow pencil in the color blonde. This one is actually one that I've already used. I go through this, they're like $2. Looks like this here. I go through one of these a month, <laughs> seems like. <laughs> Some, I had watched one video where this, this girl was talking about it being in her favorites and she was like, this one will last you six months. Like, how does it last her six months? I go through one of these a month. It could be because I don't have a whole lot of eyebrow and I really have to really fill in my eyebrows a lot. That can be it. And maybe she just had to just barely put some in. Maybe that's why it lasted her six months. But anyway, I like it. I like it a lot. I use the blonde, even though you wouldn't think that I would need the blonde, but that's the color that I use. I really do like it recommend it and then I bought this mascara here to take on my cruise because it was waterproof and it's the Maybelline Maybelline falsies very black mascara and it looked like this here in the tube um, had this kind of wand on it I didn't like it and to me it was nowhere near waterproof and I ended, I bought it a couple weeks or a week. Maybe it was like 10 days before we left to go on the cruise to try it, to see how I like it and everything. I ended up not even taking it with me because I didn't like it. It, I never had any issue with any type of mascara, like smudging up underneath here. This did, and it was supposed to be waterproof. So I couldn't imagine taking it with me on the cruise and then wearing it to swim in the ocean and stuff which I ended up not even wearing any makeup anyway the day that we were going to go swim in the ocean anyway so it was kind of a waste of money I'm going to give it to my daughter and see if she likes it but no that was a waste that was a waste for me and that was the Maybelline falsies I didn't like it another waste for me was this product here from CoverGirl I heard um Jessica Braun talk about this and how she really felt like it didn't get into her creases and her wrinkles. Now, keep in mind, you know, she's probably in her 20s, 
late 20s, mid 20s. Anyway, this did not work for this 50 year old, 50 year old girl here, but it's the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the color Porcelain L150. Oh no, this really creased. It had the little um, big wand, kind of like, you know, the, um, the one from Tarte that I guess everybody um, copies now. No, this really creased. This really made my under eyes look really, really bad. <laughs> really bad. I've just gotten to the point where I just don't really put any concealer up underneath my under eyes at all. Just for that fact. It just looks so bad that I just don't even bother. It's, it was just really dry and chalky feeling. I just, I just didn't like it at all. So I'm going to give it to my daughter and see if she likes it. She's probably not going to like it either. For one, it's not going to be light enough for her because she's very, 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 very pale. A lot paler even than myself. But I'm going to pass that on to her. That was a fail for me. And then um, the next couple of products I got, I got on a discount because I am um, diamond at Ulta. Gosh, it's really nice being, Ulta knows how to treat people or consumers that are a higher tier with them than Sephora does. You know, Sephora's reward program it's just not that great. Whereas Ulta, Ulta really does a really good job. I feel like really rewarding their platinum members and their diamond members, especially their diamond members. But anyway, one day their diamond members were able to buy the Tarte, um, this Tarte foundation at 50% off. And it's the Tarte High Performance Naturals Found Clear Multitasking Foundation broad spectrum SPF 20 um, so I wanted to try it I don't know why but I did and so I got two different colors the one was 8B porcelain beige and the other one is 16B fair light beige and they have the little pump tops on them where you can twist them down and then they close like that and then you twist them up and they pop open like that. And I have a combination of both of these on today. Now, I'm not a big fan of them because they are heavier coverage than what I like. So that, and that's my fault. I, I mean, I, I know that. I know I don't like heavier foundations, but I, I wanted to try them because I heard another YouTuber talk about how they liked them and how they left like a dewy finish. I don't really feel like they leave that dewy of a finish. And I feel like as soon as I put them on and before I can even get my powder to my powder on my vanity, they have already have started to crease in my lines up here on my forehead. <laughs> that, that's how bad it is. <laughs> but, you know, then I start, you know, smoothing it out, you know, with my hand like this. And then I, then with my little sponge, I start, boom, tapping again, tap, 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 smoothing it back out. And then I hurry up and put that powder on there. <laughs> then it's fine. But it doesn't wear that good during the day. You know, I put this on this morning, and now I can see where it's kind of cakey and everything. So, mm, maybe for the younger crowd, it would be okay. Maybe for someone that doesn't have the mature skin that I have, maybe that some of you have that watch me. So, mm, not that great for us, I don't think. Um... So anyway, what, what what color was this? This was the 16B. That's that color right there. Which that one's a good match for me. That's the 16B, the Fairlight Beige. Most of them ran like really orange color because I had went into Ulta and um, color matched them before I ordered them. And then this one was the 8B. This one's really, really light, but I thought I could use this to 
mix in with some of my other foundations that I felt like were a little bit too dark for me because this one's really, really light, but it does not mix well with other foundations. It does not play well with others. So, and you'll see how light it is on my hand. See, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty light. So that's why I thought, well, I could use it, you know, as a, a mixing base, but it doesn't work that well to mix either. Unless I mix these two together, and then they they play okay together. And let me see if I can. Well, I have them mixed together on my face, so you can kind of see. They mix okay together. Not my favorite. I mean, I'm not going to go out and repurchase. They are a little bit, you know, like I said, dewy and everything. But they really do start gathering into those lines like really, really quick. Man, I mean, like really quick. But here it is, kind of mixed together. A little bit and you can kind of see the dewiness of it so but anyway I tried it like I said not my favorite I'm glad I didn't spend the full amount because I got both of these for the price of one so to try it and then the last thing that I got was they were running a sale on the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills the lip glosses and this is about the only lip gloss formulation that I like and they were doing buy one get one free and the first one is my favorite color I have used up a little mini one that was like a point perk or something like that at Sephora and it is Saint Tropez and it's the color that I have on. I've worn it many, many, many times in videos. And I finally used that little sucker up. And so I got a full size of it. I think these run like $19, $18, something like that. And then the other color that I ended up getting was this one here called Parfait. And I've worn this in a video too, I think. And it's kind of like a peachy color, peachy pink color. I'll swatch it on this on my bruised up hand here and that's that color right there so it's really pretty I like it it's really pretty with a um, lip liner underneath it I like the way they wear they smell like cupcakes cake batter they wear really pretty they're not drying to the lips and I like them so anyway so that I do believe is this haul yes that's it for the haul and I hope that you have enjoyed and I will be talking to you soon and I'll see you later bye